Hey, welcome back to another video. I'm currently filming fresh out of a national pandemic lockdown. Big camping trips had to be shelved, so I thought I'd have a go at a product review. Today, we're going to take a look at the Rock Bros B68 bike frame bag. I purchased this product with my own money so I can give you a no holds barred consumer review. On the official Rock Bros website, Rock Bros claims this product to be durable, water resistant, with a high sensitivity touch screen. I'll be putting all these claims to the test, but first, let's go through the specs. The bag has a 1.7 litre capacity. The dimensions are 24 by 10 by 8.2 centimetres. But the inside of the bag has two mesh pockets on either side. At the rear, there's a rubber porthole for earphones or charging cables. The exterior is made from ethylene vinyl acetate that has a carbon fibre hard shell design. It does indeed feel solid and durable. Now the quality of the stitching, yeah, it's good. There's no visible loose threads. There are two Velcro straps on the base and one on the front. On the top, we have a thermoplastic polyurethane sensitive touchscreen. Uh, it's designed for phones up to 6.8 inches and it has a sun visor surrounding the upper half. Surrounding the touchscreen are two zips which allow access to the inside. The zipper is laminated and the zips operate very smoothly. They don't get caught. It's time to test the frame bag's resistance to water and for that I'll be using this two litre bottle to simulate a rain shower and a few coffee filter pads to check for any moisture that may get into the bag. Okay, let's get this bag installed on the frame to check the fit. Yeah, that's quite a good fit. It's not going anywhere. There's not too much side to side movement. And I've got plenty of Velcro here to, to attach to my frame. It's not gonna fit every bike, of course, but they're very generous with the, the Velcro. I mean, I could even go around this part here so I get more stability. But that's great. I'm happy with that. Okay, time to add the filter pads. So I'll put them right in the corner as well where the stitching is. And hopefully it's gonna give a, a fair test. And I'll put some inside as well just to check. Some in the side pockets as well and around the zip and on the base. Okay. Time for a downpour. Right, that's the whole two litres. Uh, don't worry, I'm not daft. I covered my battery ports and my controller with some foil just to keep it dry. Anyways, let's check these pads. Okay, so the foam compartment is dry. Ah, but here. So the coffee filter pad on the base inside is soaked. So I did get in somewhere. Uh, but the sides stayed dry. So, good to know. Okay, I have a few small items with me today that I may want to keep in the frame bag. Let's see how many of these items this bag can hold. How about a 750 milliliter water bottle? No problems at all. Pair of winter gloves.
easy, room to spare. Multi-tool. Add my wallet. Easy. Let's have a look at this TPU touchscreen. I'll be using my old Samsung A70 phone for testing purposes. Slides in easy. I have to say, I'm very impressed. It's very responsive. It has to be mentioned that there's no easy way to press the buttons on the side of the phone. In my case, the power button and the volume. But the touchscreen works great. And yes, the touchscreen can be operated in the rain. So the next test is how well will it perform whilst out riding, especially off the trail. So let's go. It's really good, very stable. Oh, it's so much fun to ride around here. Let's open it up. I'm not carrying any weight today, so it feels very much like a bicycle again. Oh. So, can I operate this bag? whilst riding. There's a slight rock in it, but it's not too bad. Look at that one-handed. Easy. It does rock slightly, but maybe I haven't got the straps tight enough. That's nice. When it comes to price, you can buy this bag for around 25 euros online. 19 UK or $23 US currency. After doing a bit of research, I've discovered similarly designed top tube bags for less money. It would be interesting to compare the quality of those bags to this one. Now to summarize, this bag is indeed somewhat water resistant. In no way is this bag intended to be used in heavy downpour. Uh, in fact, Rock Bros mentioned this very fact on their website. They did, however, include a rain cover for this bag something i haven't yet tested in wet conditions but it would be very likely to improve the bag's water resistance or to a greater extent the bag is light the quality is very good i do like the design with the molded panels and the carbon fiber styling the trigger for me buying this product was realizing how often i needed to go through my big bags looking for small items on my rides and it's nice just to have quick access to things like my GoPro, gloves, keys, my wallet, without jumping off the bike. If I was to suggest any improvements to Rock Bros regarding this product, uh, it would be the following. Uh, the Velcro frame straps have a very coarse texture. I wouldn't be surprised if after a certain amount of time you would start to see some paint scratch marks on the frame. Uh, perhaps a rubber coating or a soft synthetic material would be a good direction to avoid any surface damage to the frame. Some reviewers on the internet have stated that their phones have overheated whilst using the bag's touchscreen feature. Uh, it's cu currently early winter, I'm in Central Europe and it won't, I won't be in a situation to test this claim for quite some time. 
Uh, there are several factors that may cause a phone to overheat in a bag like this. The bag is designed to be water resistant, so ventilation is absent. Uh, programs like GPS navigation apps running in the background, continuous direct sunlight and hot external temperatures. I'll check these claims out at some point. It's an interesting point and I'm curious to see for myself how the bag performs under these conditions. So far at this present time, no issues. Another improvement could be to have some way to anchor the zips to the bag to reduce the rattle and knocking sound you hear whilst riding. Yeah, I know it's a minor criticism, but you know, if four hours of can be avoided, then it's a welcome improvement. All in all, this bag is a well thought out product. It's reasonably priced. It's useful for cyclists who want to keep their small items stored in one place within arm's reach. So what do you think of this bag? Have you had any experience with this bag and the Rock Bros brand? You can share it in the comments section below. Uh, hit a thumbs up if you like this review. Subscribe if you want to. From me, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra for now.